Hi, and welcome to the Adobe Creative Club. This is a club where we get to experience Adobe apps from Express right through to the Pro apps, it's particularly for all those students who are going to be using Adobe CC Pro apps at GCSE and Level 2. I'm here with... Who am I here with? Hello, Shumai. I'm Reddit Jones. Good man. And I'm Dom Trainer from Adobe. So we're going to get cracking with this first session. Let's have a quick look at what we're doing. Here we go. Session one, logo design for a marketing campaign. Mereda, just give us a quick uh, a quick overview of how it's going to work. Yeah, okay. So um, in this session, we're going to be uh, designing a logo. So um, we will be looking at those skills in pro apps, as Dom said, uh, later on in the year. But right at the beginning of the school year, we're going to be using uh, Adobe Express for this. Now, Adobe Express has had a brand new revamp. It's got a lot of exciting new features in there. Um, and we are going to be creating a marketing campaign. So starting off with logo design for um, an outdoor adventure uh, type place in Wales that are eco-friendly and want to advertise the fact uh, that they are environmentally friendly. And of so, course, whatever, whatever sort of region you're in, you can adapt it to that as well. That's absolutely, absolutely. fine. And this is going to be like a 30-minute recording we're going to do here, but you might want to stop it at the end of the first logo we do, give your students time to have a go themselves. You might want to watch the whole thing through. But obviously, because it's recording, you can pause it and go back to it and revisit things as you like. Right. So you, we get can use, yeah, you can use uh, any of the names that we've we've come up with to use in this session, or you can come up with your own name uh, based on your own location. You can see there in the two examples on the screen, uh, we've got Eco Sports Wales and Gwalia Green Games. Um, so what we've got here is uh, some synonyms, uh, some similar words for each one of those three words. So you can see there, Eco Sports Wales. Uh, and then I also came up with Green Games and Gwalia, and I shifted the words around a bit. So uh, if you want ideas for coming up with your own brand name, then um, have a look at that slide there. You could pause the video here and have a think. If not, you could just follow along and use the ones we're going to use on this session. Cool. Right. Should we get going, dive straight into Express? Absolutely. Good yeah. stuff. So Meredith's going to uh, do things on his screen. I'm going to be following along on mine as well. We'll have a discussion about how things work, how we did things differently, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you yeah, can work great. alongside us if you like, or if you want to watch this and then pause it and then have a go, that's absolutely fine. Completely depends on how comfortable you are in Express. So Meredith, do you want to kick us off? Yeah, great. So uh, here you can see my screen. This is the new uh, Adobe Express dashboard. So um, for creating a logo, I always tend to start off with just a square um, project. So I'm going to click on the uh, plus icon top left, and I'm going to choose um, the one by one square there, the first standard size you can see. Okay. And it's going to jump straight in um, to the editor. Here it is. So Sometimes I'll start with a text and sometimes I'll start with a shape. Um, I think for this design, I'm going to start with a shape because I'm planning ahead. I don't think my text is going to be on a straight line. It's going to be on some kind of angle. So that angle is going to depend on what shape I've got. So I'm going to go for the, um, the Gwalia Green Games. So I want this kind of um, rough and ready, wild adventure kind of feel to it. So I don't really want too many clean lines in this design. So I'm going to go into the elements on the left-hand side. And in there, I'm going to search in um, icons. Okay. And I'm going to look for kind of paint splatter. I'll just I'll just type in splat. And I'm looking for something that doesn't too, look too much like paint. Do you know what I mean? It, it could look a, yeah. a bit muddy. Um here oh, we go. Yeah, um, one down there, yeah. Yeah, there we are. Something a bit I mean, there are some so really good ones in um, design assets as well. There's lots of different places you can find them, aren't there? Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you're looking at design assets versus icons, uh, the icons will all tend to be one single color. Uh, you know, this this at the moment is all, all everything that's in the color is, is solid black. And I can change that color, uh, obviously, over here. If you're using the design assets, um, those tend to be fixed colors uh, unless you use um, effects on them. 
Okay. Yeah. So there'll usually be more kind of complicated, uh, more interesting stuff in the design assets, but you've got less control over colors. Okay. Right. So there we are. I've got my um, my first shape there, and as you can see, that's going to help me decide on the angle of the text. Um, mm -hmm. So let's get my text in straight away. So over on the left hand side, I'm going to click on text, and um, I'm going to add my own text up at the top here, okay? Um, so the first design I'm doing is Gwalia Green Games. So I'm gonna start just by typing the word Gwalia. And is this Gwalia some kind is... of like, um, sort of, uh, you know, sort of muddy challenge type thing for inspiring yeah, individuals and their friends? Yeah, people are gonna be doing some kind of, you know, bog snorkeling, jumping over cargo <laughs> nets, you know. Throw your clothes in the bin on the way home, job. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. So you can see there now, I've got, I've got that text there. It, uh, for some reason, it gave me white text uh, to begin with, which wasn't very helpful. And I'm just now kind of rotating that, using the rotate tool here, um, just to get it lined up with that general angle there. Okay. So font. Um, now, take your time looking for your fonts. Um, now, I've already planned ahead which font I'm going to use because I tend to take a long time looking for fonts. Right. So I'm going to use a font called Potter in this. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to scroll down and find it. Potter. Potter. Where is it? Oh, I can't see it. Where is it? Well, you, if you know the name of your font, you could type it up top here. Potter. There we are. Okay. Yeah. So... Uh, that's my first font there, uh, my first text box there. Um, I do want it to be all caps. So the fastest way of doing that is to just use this dynamic text layout here. Okay. And that'll give me all caps there. Right, got here. Um, now, text layouts, just so you know, folks, there are more text layouts on the way. Um, so this is the brand new uh, Adobe Express. Um, and there's there's going to be more exciting tax layers on the way. So at the moment, we've just got default and dynamic. There's more mm -hmm. stuff coming soon. Okay, so I've got Gualia. So now I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to add an outline. So I'm going to okay. choose an outline. There we are. Fine. And I'm going to go for a really thick outline here. Now then, it's time to start thinking about my colors. I'm going to start thinking about color schemes straight off here. Um, because you could start going in and changing the color of you know your text, your shape, your outline manually, uh -huh. but then you're missing on something really powerful in Adobe Express, which is the color themes. So with nothing selected, you can see I haven't selected anything here. At the top of my screen, I'm just going to click on theme. And in there, you've got a loads of different color schemes, okay? And if you like these three bold color schemes, you could click view all, and then you'd see a load of other bold schemes. Yeah. Or you could type in, for example, I'm going to type in green, and now I get a load of suggestions. Yeah, I think I, I searched for eco and got some quite nice ones as well, actually. Yeah, cool, yeah. So um, I'm going to choose my color scheme and go for this one. Okay, so I just click on it, and you'll see it's now applied the colors from that color scheme to the things within my design. Yeah. And also, if you scroll back to the top of your color theme panel, right at the top here, you'll see page theme, and you've got a shuffle button. Okay? Yeah. And click I've been on that. For about five minutes already. <laughs> yeah. So that then just shuffles you through the colors within this color scheme that you've chosen. Yeah. Okay? So, and what you can do is kind of use the shuffle to get you kind of where you want to be. Um, so I'm going to go for something like that. And then from yeah. there, then you you know you can tweak it, okay? So um, I'm going to change the color of the paint splatter. So I click on my icon there, come up to the fill, and I'm going to set that to the darkest color in my color scheme, okay? Mm -hmm. And then for my text, I'm I want to swap the fill and the outline color. I want the lighter color to be inside. So I'm just going to click on these. Uh, double arrows here, swap them around, okay? And you can see that my outline color is the same color as the um, the ink splatter, the mud splatter, so it just kind of blends into it really nicely, 
Cool. So I got my first text and I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do now for my next text box is just duplicate that. Okay. So I'm going to click on the duplicate icon up here, top left. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. Drag that down, double click in there, change it to my next word, which is games. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. No, my next word was green. Sorry, Qualia green games. I do right. need games though. So I'll just move that down and I'll duplicate that. And I need to get double click, change that to green. There we go, Qualia Green Games. So now I'm just going to do some quick resizing. Try and get things to line up as much as possible. Yeah. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. Just resize my mud splatter a bit. Okay. There we are. I, just, I don't want my uh, outlines to overlap too much. There we go. Great. That's a great nice. start. Yeah. So the next thing is to get um, a feature on that um, splatter. So I'm going to be searching for a leaf. Um, now, you could search for um, an icon of maybe one of the activities themselves. Um, it could be a, a Welsh dragon in a green color, giving it that Welsh vibe. It's up to you. Okay. But I'm going to yeah. go for a leaf because I really want to um, kind of emphasize the eco side of of um, what I'm doing here. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to elements and then I'm going to go to icons again and I'm going to search for leaf. Okay. And there will be plenty of choice there for you if you're looking for a leaf like I am. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh -huh, you give me a good idea there. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm enjoying this. This is good. Good. Um, so, you know, a load of those leaves would have been fine, but I'm going to go with this one because it's got that kind of hand-drawn feel to it that right. matches up with that. That kind of matches background. your, yeah, splatter background, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And also your font is quite sort of, it's quite sort of freestyle as well. Yeah, I wanted it to look kind of hand handwritten a bit, you know, a little yeah. bit of fun. Um, so now I'm going to flip my leaf because um, I want it to be a mirror image. So I've got my leaf selected here, and I'm going to use the flip horizontal um, button there. There we are, just to get that. I think that sits tidier that way around. Right, okay. Yeah, got you. Good. Color then, um, I'm going to change that for now to be the same color as my text. Mm -hmm. There we go. And... I'm kind of getting there. Now, I think I want uh, this paint splatter in the background maybe to continue behind my text um, because okay. I'm not quite sure about these little gaps here. And uh, the I gap. Know you, is, I know you don't like things like that. No, and inside it's that R, uh, that bothers me. And the inside of the A bothers me. So, <laughs> <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the um, paint splat. So sometimes it can be difficult to select something that's in the back of your design. So remember that you can do that using your layer stack, which is on the right-hand side here. So I'm just going to click on mm -hmm. the paint splat there, okay, yeah. my layer stack. And then I'm going to use the duplicate icon at the top left here. Okay. There we are, and that's duplicate that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to roughly place it where I want it. We go, and then I'm going to duplicate it again so that I cover the bottom bit. And now, what I can do, you can see here are my layers here, okay? And that's all I need to do is drag those two layers down to the bottom to join the first one. It doesn't right. matter which one of those three are in the front because they all kind of yeah. blend together. And that works really nicely uh, for me. So what I'm going to do now, and this is really important to do um, whenever you're working, really, is get a bit of feedback. So I'm going to ask my pal Dom what <laughs> kind of changes, what kind of changes Dom thinks I could make to my design so far. You know, I'm, I'm not too precious about it. I haven't invested five hours of my life into this yet. So yeah. now is a really good time. You know, we've been working on it for ten minutes, maybe. Okay. Ask your friend, whoever's next door, right, 
can you give me any ideas, something I could change right now that would make that a bit better? I think the, I think all the colours work really well together, but maybe it needs like an accent colour. Okay, uh, And I'm yeah. thinking maybe because of the word green, you could change that one and also match that to the leaf and maybe that would make it stand out a bit more. Yeah, okay. So I'll, that's 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 great feedback. So I'll I'll um I'll select that green text and then I'll come to the fill here. Okay? And then we'll see. So I've got these greens in my theme. So do you think I should use a green for my theme or something totally different, Tom? Uh I mean, I think though all those greens are quite muted, maybe if there's a bit more of a sort of vibrant green, that might work quite yeah. nicely. Okay. So I'll try that. I'll go. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to click on the fill and I'm going to come down to the bottom here and go to more colors. Okay. And then I'm going to have a look, see what's going on down here. Oh, I'm changing it, but it's not changing. Try that again. There we go. Right. Okay. Does that green work for you or shall I? Keep... No, I think darker. I think go darker. Okay. So if you don't get the color you want from the page theme or the recommend, recommended colors or in more colors, remember that you can mix your own color by going to custom. Okay, now in here, um, I can use the rainbow here. Okay, and I can select whichever color I want. And as I'm doing that, it's updating on my text. How about that, Dom? Do you like that? Yeah, that one works. And I think if you do the, um, the leaf in the same color, that would be nice. Okay, cool. So I'll, I'll click on the leaf and now I'll go to the fill and that should be one of my recommended colors now. No, it's not. Okay, so if it's not, what I can do is I can use the pipette, the color picker at the top, click on that, choose the green that I've just set for the text and then I'll get exactly the same shade of green. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, that works. Yeah, thanks for that feedback. I, re I think that's really helped. The leaf stands out more, and yeah, it really kind of points out that this is an eco-friendly activity center. I like that. Cool. Oh. Um, shall I go on, Dom, or should we have a look at what you've been up to? Yeah, let's uh, give me some feedback on mine. Right, let's um, yeah. let's go for this then. So I kind of generally followed your lead there, really. And uh, oh yeah, let's make this... oh, I like so the, I like the name. Bigger. Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah, so make it a bit bigger there. You can do the, use the drop down to make it bigger. So I like the way that he uh, Moretti was using these kind of sketchy backgrounds. I used um, I used ones in design assets. I think I just put splat in there as well. And I think it was yeah. I think it was maybe this one here. I can't remember now. And I also overlapped them both. I'm sort of not, not sure whether I actually needed to do that. If I take one away, I think I probably didn't oh, yeah. need to do that because it makes it sort of look a bit cleaner now but um generally what i've done is i've got my text that it was a bit big when i was doing it so i did change the i did change the line spacing because you can do that yeah. and it sort of drops it off because i wanted it to fit this kind of thing and then also i mean my my idea was kind of like this kind of like tough mudder type thing you know people who want to put yeah. themselves through extreme pain and extreme dirt in order to <laughs> uh give themselves a in you know a bit of more self-worth maybe uh and so that's why i've got this skull and crossbows i wanted it to be a bit sort of um i don't know what's the word uh a bit heavy metal style what do you it think is. yeah it is yeah. yeah any feedback and things to improve okay yeah i think taking that uh second paint squiggle out made the skull and crossbones more visible so that's better yeah. Um, I think the text, the white text with a yellow outline um, could stand off better. So maybe you could possibly add a shadow to your text right. um, yeah. and, and have something black or dark to match with the skull and crossbones. Okay. That'll help it to stand off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I nice. think that immediately works better. And on the new Adobe Express, guys, there's loads of new... Uh, shadow options so yeah. you know have a fiddle play around with them uh, but you can also create your own custom shadow on the last option as well yeah but yeah i think i think that ties it together better um, yeah kind I of uh, right there. yeah the skull and crossbones are kind of related to the text a bit more now yeah um, 
and I really like that. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I did put um, a filter on it, but I don't know whether, I mean, the duotone filter, not really oh, sure okay. we needed it. I don't know, really. What do you think? None. No, then, I don't think it needs anything. No, well, that yellow works nicely. Is that yeah. another what? What's that yellow? Oh, that's from the filter. Yeah, yeah that's from the duotone filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, All right, cool. Leave it yeah. at that. But also, I might tuck it behind the text because that little skull and crossbone was coming on top. Uh, yeah, yeah. It is nice sometimes to have designs overlapping text. Yeah, um, as long as it doesn't disturb it too much. Yeah, cool. That can look right. Cool. Yeah, nice. great. So what are we doing with this now that we've got it? Okay, yeah. So um, what I'm going to do next, I think, is we're just going to add a couple of um, little design assets just to take it one step further, take it mm -hmm. to the next level. Um, so, and you'll see that this this will add a lot um, because it's. I want to I want to give it a more grungy feel now because I want I wanted to feel a bit muddier. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, and, and this isn't something you've got to spend too much time with. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the design assets. Okay, so in the elements on the left-hand side, I go to design assets. I don't want a leaf, so I'll get rid of that search. Now then, um, you've got categories in here. So if you go to the textures category there, uh -huh. view all. And in here you'll see you've got a load of interesting looking patterns and categories. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I go for something like ink there or grunge, yeah. grunge, maybe. Yeah. Grunge, grunge sounds good. Yeah. And then I'm just going to look for something that isn't too in your face. Um, mm -hmm. I just want something that's going to make the page look a little bit messier. Yeah. So I'm going to go for this one. I like this because, oops, sorry, this one. Yeah. I like it because the center is quite plain. And then, you know, there's a lot of texture on the edges. And then I right. can I can move that in or out as I want um, to see more or less of that. Okay, so I'm going to add okay. that to the page. So there you go. It's added it. Uh, to the front. So I'm going to resize this now so that it, you know, fills the whole page. Now, because this is rectangular and my page is square, it's obviously going to be bigger than my page. Yeah. But what well, that allows that you to do... works really well. Yeah. But what it allows you to do is, you know, I know that it's more grungy at the top and the bottom. So if I want more grunge, I can just bring that down. Right. Or if I want less grunge, I can obviously aim for more in the center of that design asset. And I yeah. know that there's some more grunge down the bottom. Yeah. Now, maybe you're thinking, oh, that, that grunge looks too much. And it does as it is there, okay? But what I'm going to do, I always do this. I'm going to drop the opacity, so yeah. how visible it is, right down to zero. Uh -huh. So it's invisible. I can't see that grunge now. And I'm just going to slowly add it back in until I feel that I've got enough. And where have you got it in your layer stack? You've got it right on the top. It's right at the top, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I like the fact that it's it's over my text. I like okay. that. Yeah. And I like the fact that it's adding a bit more texture on the leaf. Yeah, so you can see that I've left it there and it's it's on 25%. That's all I've got. Okay. Right. So that, yeah. that's a top tip for you there if you're adding kind of uh, textures to your designs is don't start at 100 and come down. Because you'll almost always you'll hit fifty percent and you'll think, oh, that must be fine. Right. But actually, I need it needed much less than fifty percent. So the top tip there is drop it straight down to zero, so you've got nothing, yeah. and then bring it in until you're happy with what it looks like. Right there, we are now, and I'm on. There we are. It's twenty nine percent now. Okay, and I've right. got. I'm, I'm going to do one more design asset, and then I'm going to be finished with this. Okay. Okay. And that is, I'm going to add a little bit of lighting in. Um, and okay. this is fun. So I'm going to go back into the elements. I'm going to, um, you need to back arrow out now of the category you're in. Okay. Yeah. You're going back in elements, design assets. And I'm going to search for light in there. Okay. Yeah. And then just scroll and see, I want some kind of lens flare, some kind of flashlight type of thing. Right. Um, I've got one in my mind, um, but if it doesn't pop up, I've already passed a few that would work nicely here. Um, 
Is it going to show up? I can't remember how long I scrolled for last time I did this. <laughs> There's a lightning bolt there, Dom. That would be cool for yours. Oh, yeah. It's quite heavy metal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the one I'm looking for isn't showing up. Oh, I, if you actually, could put I think it was called Boca. So Boca is um, this thing when you get a... Um, Kind of yeah, of focus light on a camera. So is, that um, what it's called? is it? Yeah, it was I'm learning every day. Okay. Yeah, book book. Yeah. Right. So um, ah, there it is. That's the one I want. There it is. Right. Cool. Okay. Um, so I'm going to add that on, and you know, you're going to see it, and you're going to go, "Oh my gosh, why is he doing that? What is that?" But I'm going to bear with me, guys, because this is going to look great. Hopefully. Okay, so I'm going to resize it. There we go. And I'm going to flip it vertically because I want it to look like a kind of pool of light. So I'm going to flip it. There we go. Like mm -hmm. that. And now I'm going to add one of the blend modes. So right. underneath the opacity slider, the opacity toggle, we've got two blend modes you can try. Multiply and screen. Multiply yeah. will... Uh, blend with the background but darkening the image and screen will blend with the background but lightening the image so i'm going to go with screen now that's really cool but as with the uh grungy texture it's too much yeah. so what am i gonna do next dom you're gonna bring the opacity right down and then bring it up to what you need it to be exactly yeah i'm gonna drop that straight down to zero and i'm just gonna bring it up until I'm happy with it. And it's about there. There we are, 23%. Right, okay. All it needs. And I'm really happy with that. Um, I'm done with my logo. Um, how about you, Dom? How are you getting on? Yeah, good. Let me uh, let me switch over and see what we've got going on. Right, so... Yeah, so I I, I followed your lead with the um, with the kind of grungy background. Got it, got it, you know, got it over there. I mean, yeah, cool. you can, we could. I might start playing with it and see whether, uh, you know, there's some other texture I could put in there to see whether maybe it would go over the center because this one kind of goes down the side. Maybe I want it more on the center, but generally yeah. I kind of like that. Um, I didn't feel like the buckle worked for me. Oh um, yeah, maybe like the colors. I don't know. It maybe I couldn't make it work. I couldn't make it look like yours, and so I yeah. thought I'd leave that one. Yeah, cool. Right, so we're ready now to um, download this or hand it in um, to your teacher. So if you want to share this with your teacher, you've got two options, really. You could publish it and share the link. So let's have a look at how to do that. So at the top right-hand corner of the Adobe Express window, you've got a share button uh, that has disappeared. There we go, the share button. Um, and you can see there you've got publish to web. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. Uh, I'm going to give it a title. Okay, so this is Gualia Green Games. Okay, and then um, I'm going to click on Publish Link. And that, you can see at the bottom, it's saying Publishing Your Design. And it's not going to take very long at all. And what it's going to do, it's going to give us a link that we can just copy and paste um, straight into whatever you use to share work with your teachers. So if that's Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, whatever you're using, there we go. It, the link is ready. You can see there at the bottom, copy link. Okay. And that's all you need to do is pop over to um, Google Classroom uh, or Microsoft Teams. And where it, where it asks you to add your work, you click add your work, um, add or create link, paste it in, send it off. Okay. Cool. If you want to actually download the image itself, Sorry, you're going to come in there, Don. Well, I was actually one of the things that we've um, for, we've both forgotten to do, and this is this it plagues me all the time with Adobe Express is actually name our project in Adobe Express. Otherwise, yeah, you're right. You'll always be say, searching for untitled project names, which is a real pain. So, you're absolutely um, right. I'll yeah, give mine so top, the mean green team. Yeah, top left, you can see I've got the uh, snappy title of Untitled Fourth of September, twenty twenty three to eleven or four sixteen. Highly searchable. <laughs> So let's change that to 
Gualia Green Games logo. I'll add the word logo because, you know, we're going to be working on some more branding for Gualia Green Games. So um, I don't want to just call it Gualia Green Games. Okay, so if I want to download that image, so maybe I want to um, put it onto a, a PowerPoint slide or a Google slide, uh, slide, or maybe you want to send it in as uh, an image file to your teacher, um, then that's all I need to do is click on the button next door to share, which says download. So I click on download, and the recommended PNG is, is absolutely fine. So I'm yeah. just going to click download, and that'll be super fast. Uh, and it'll pop it into your downloads folder. Okay, so mine's in my downloads folder there already, um, yeah, and you can just drag that in. Okay, so if you've got to this point, um, you've created your logo, you've added in all the um, the extra design assets, take it to the next level, and you've still got some time left, then you could play around with maybe creating a second logo. Because when you are designing, most of the times you won't just go with your first uh, draft or something you know designs get better the more you practice them and the more times you try so let's just have a quick look at this second uh, logo that i created you can see it there on the slide eco sports cymru yeah. um, so what i'll do is i'll open that project up on adobe express and i'll just talk you through how i went about creating that and you'll see that the process is exactly the same um, well, let, me see if I can, can, um, let me see if i can pick it apart and sort of break it down and see which, see if I can guess what you've used in there. Yeah, great. Yeah. Um, just opening it up now. Here we go. Right. So uh, I'm thinking, so you've got like, um, you've got quite a few things going on here. Mm. So basically, you started off with a semicircle. Um, I actually didn't. Um, uh, I, I started off with the mountains, actually. But uh, right. yeah. Okay. But basically, the the shapes you've got going on is you've got you've got the mountains, which are two triangles, and you've overlapped them. Is that true? Yeah, I searched for mountains, and there was a lot there, but um, I wanted it to be simpler. You know, I didn't yeah, want this kind is of snow snow it's nice and clean. I like yeah, that. So I, I used a triangle, uh, yeah. two triangles instead. Yeah, right. And then, so you've overlapped those, and then you've also got your semicircle in the background. Yes. And then this font that you've got going on here, what fonts have you chosen there? Because that works quite well, I think. Yeah, this is a cool font because I really like the fact that it puts a kind of go arrow inside. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's nice. That, that font is called Shuriken. Um, right. Shuriken Boy. Shuriken Boy. Right. Yeah, okay. I thought that was a really cool font. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. So, uh, yeah, you've got my shapes and you've got my text sorted there, Dom. Oh, and I used, um, I used a shadow instead of an outline. Um, for the right. Change. Okay. Yeah, that works nicely. And yeah, then, um, I, I, and I then you've just used the rotate uh, tool, and you've just used the rotate tool there to get them in line with the shapes themselves. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, it works quite nicely because you've got you've got different sizes there, and you've just basically used the the resize corner to bring them into size. Is that what you've done? This is exactly what I did. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you know, I wanted the eco to be as big as possible. Um, yeah. So really, you know, I could I could even make that a bit bigger again, can I? Yeah, just right. get it down there. And yeah. then what have you got over the top here? Because you've got some kind of I like the way you've got those dots going through the mountains and the kind of what I sort of think is a I don't know whether it's um yeah. a sort of sun type background or however you've used it. Yeah, so the fun stuff. So let's talk about the fun stuff. So right in the back, yeah, I've got this kind of haze. Now that's actually uh that design oh, asset wow. i wasn't expecting yeah. that yeah and i've got i've got screen so that's what it looks like normally so that's mm -hmm. the normal so, so i put a screen blend mode on it and then it was really dropped down and then i also added a tiny little bit of blur to it right yeah 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 okay. very nice um, yeah, it kind of gives it a little bit of a haze. I, I, I like that. And then yeah. the other cool thing about there is these really cool uh, dots. So again, oh, right, they're from different the, the um, that's different from that kind of haze you had on the back, right? Yeah, is that look okay? Right, okay. And where did you find they, that? Yeah, in the design assets again. Um, it was in the textures. Right, and then as you can Very see nice. again, 
I've added multiply and once again I drop it down bring it back till it's only just barely there and I've yeah. actually also got a light on here that maybe you can't even see that it's there so that's it right. um that's it normal yeah so I added screen to that as well uh, to take a bit of the yellow out of it mm -hmm. and then I dropped it right down but you can see it does just kind of I just wanted it to nearly act as a spotlight on the middle of the picture right just really um, just trying um that sort of um that haze you had on the on just yeah. see, just delete that and see what that comes out like delete it yeah and then you can always go back yeah. that's it without it yeah yeah you can see the light more obviously there now with that yeah gone. yeah 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 so i mean this is the thing isn't it play around with these things see what works yeah, and also, you know, if I don't use the screen blend mode and go to normal, it's going to give a warmer light. Right. You know, yeah. So that, yeah, that, that works quite nicely as well. Yeah. Very um, nice. So, so that one's a bit with that more sort of, that one's a bit more clean, isn't it? It's a bit more sort of, what would you say, graphical yeah. or? Yeah, I was going for some kind of, I, I really wanted to look like the logo on a 1980s um, tracksuit, a shell yeah, suit. That's nice. what I wanted it to look like, you know? Yeah, or on yeah, the back of like a that. jacket or something like that, you know? Um, that's yeah, what I was going for. Really well. So there you go. That's how you create a couple of logos using Adobe Express. And it's time for you to have a go yourselves. Yeah, have some fun. Make sure you play around with the design assets, mess around, drag the opacity down, bring it up a little bit. Have a load of fun and we'll see you on the next session.